so we were in number five now, right? Okay, so number five. 63 and cubed plus 54 and squared minus 105 and minus 90. Okay, so let's group the first two and the last two. You can put a line in the middle if you guys want it. Or you can also do the parentheses. So now let's divide this by the GCF. What goes into 63 and 54? What is 63 equal to? That's going to be 9 times 7, right? And what's 54 equal to? Isn't that 9 times 6, right? 9. Very good, Ava. So the GCF is 9. We're going to divide by 9. And then you get the lower power, n3 versus n2. So use the lower power of n. Okay, so the GCF is 9n squared. So now let's divide. 63 divided by 9 is 7. n3 divided by n2, that's 3 minus 2, so n1. Plus 54 divided by 9 is 6. N2 divided by N2, they cancel, so it's just 1, so 6 times 1 is 1. So the first part, the first 2, is done. Ooh, now let's do this. What's in 105 that is also in 90? And if this is negative, I strongly suggest you use a GCF that's also negative, right? So what's 90 equal to? Um... 15, very good. This is 15 times 6, right? Yep. What about this one? 15 times what? That's going to be 15 times 7, isn't it? Okay, so then let's divide by 15 underneath each one. That's your GCF. So negative over negative will now become positive. So that's 7. Bring down the N because there is no N at the bottom. Negative over negative is positive. And then that's going to be 6. And how do you know that you are on the right track again? These two end up to be equal to each other, right? Let me admit some of our friends right here. Okay, so if they end up to be equal to each other, your final answer will be you bring down the common binomial only once, which is 7n plus 6, and then you combine the GCFs together, but you're going to write them only once even though they're repeated. So 9n squared, that's your GCF from the first group. And then the GCF of the second group is 9n squared minus 15. Okay, so let's do that. Let's find that in our answer bank. 9n squared. Okay, 7n plus 6. 7n plus 6. This one is the closest one. You see that one? Okay, that one has 7n plus 6. Now, what did they do to the 9n squared minus 15? What did they do to the 9n squared minus 15? This one has another GCF, right? They divided, yeah. So if you, oh, how do I, oh, I have to move it up so I will have more space. So if I have so 7n plus 6 and then you have a 9n squared minus 15, this actually have a greatest common factor again, right? The greatest common factor here will be 3. Yeah? So 9 divided by 3, that's going to be 3n squared. And a negative 15 divided by 3 is going to be negative 5. So if you rearrange that, you can put the 3 in front, which looks like that one in the answer bank. So this one. 7n plus 6, that's the one. And then there's a 3 in front. And then 3n squared minus 5. How did you get the 9 again? Um, the 9n squared is the GCF that we, that we divided the first group by. Yeah, because 63 was 9 times 7 and 54 was 9 times 6. Uh huh. So when you write down the answer, you bring these down only once. And even though these are repeating two times each, you're going to put them together only once, 9n squared minus 15. Okay, so we're going to click on this for the next number. That goes to number 5. Okay? All right. Let's do one more. 
Okay, that's number five. Let's go to number six. What does number six look like? Okay. Number six. 21k cubed minus 84k squared plus 15k minus 60. Okay. So let's split them into two groups, right? Okay, help me out. Tell me what can divide both of these. And then this one later on. So what's 21 equal to? What's, so 21, yeah? So it's going to be 21 times 1, and this is what, 21 times 4? Right? Make sense? Okay, so then we divide both by 21. And then get the lower power of k, that's k2, k3. So the lower power is k2. All right. Okay, then what's next? So 21 divided by 21 is just 1. k3 over k2 will just become 1k. Minus 84 divided by 21 is 4. And then k2 divided by k2, no more k, yeah? Okay, now, does 15 go into 60? If yes, how many times? So 15 is 15 times 1, right? What about 60? So the GCF is 15. Okay, so that's going to be 15 times 4, correct? Because every pair is 30. So we're going to divide by 15. There you go. And you can kind of check that you are on the right track. You see that one? times 4 times 4 also. So if you put 15 divided by 15, that's just 1k. And then 60 divided by 15, it's just going to be 4. And bring down the negative sign. So again, you know you are in the right track if these two are matching. So your answer will be, you bring down k minus 4 only once. And then you put your GCFs together, which were 21k squared plus 15. But you'll never gonna see you you'll never see this in the key to correction. Why? Because if you look at this one, you need to factor this out again completely. So what goes into 21 that also goes into 15? It's three, right? This is three times seven and this is three times five. So you can again factor out the three from here. So you'll end up with k minus four. You're taking out the 3 from both of this. We'll put it in front because that's how it was in the key to correction. So if you divide here by 3, 21 divided by 3 is 7. So 7k squared and 15 divided by 3 is 5. So this is what we should find or look for in the answer key. So let's crawl down. It's the one with k minus 4. k minus 4 right there second line second this line so 3k minus 4 and then 7k squared plus 5 so click on that all right okay so how do you find this topic it's it's just about gcf right we're just repeatedly using gcf okay you always have to choose the first gcf um what do you mean by that I didn't quite get that, honey. How about I show another example and then maybe if you if you if you see like the part where you're asking that question about you tell me because I didn't quite get that. What number were we? Seven. Okay. So twenty five V cubed plus five V squared plus thirty V plus six. Okay, then we split them into groups, right? Okay. So now, what's the GCF here? 25 is 5 times 5. 5V five is 5 times 1. Yeah? So the GCF is 5. Is this what you mean by saying you always choose the first GCF? 
this is the part where you were asking about that. If this is the part where, you know, when you're wondering whether to always pick the first, no. Because I can shuffle them around. So pick whatever they have in common. Uh-huh. I don't know if that was the one that you were asking about, but let me know, okay? So we're going to divide here by 5. By 5, the lower power of V3 and V2 is V2. There you go. <clears throat> so 25 divided by 5 is 5. V3 divided by V2, you just have one V left. Plus, 5 divided by 5 is 1. V2 divided by V2 is 1. Okay, next. You divide, oh, this one is what? Um, 5 times 6. This one is 1 times 6. So, this one, I'm choosing the second one, so not necessarily the first because I can rewrite them however, yeah? So I, I divide here by 6, by 6. So 30 divided by 6 is 5. You bring down the V. 6 divided by 6 is 1. Okay, so maybe, and your question can also be answered from here. You always have to choose the first GCF. Um, again, you bring this down only once, right? So your answer will be 5V plus 1. You can also put that last. And when you were saying you always choose the first GCF, like here, it doesn't matter. You can go 6 plus 5V squared, okay? But in standard form, the one with the variable comes first. That's why I always write it first. So 5V squared plus 6. Maybe that was your question, huh? So go in order, not because not because that's the only way to write it, but because that is in standard form. You're going to do V squared before the constant. You can also write down the final answer as 5V squared plus 6 times 5V plus 1. So you can switch them around. Okay. I hope I answered your question, honey. Yeah. Okay, so let's. Find that in the key. Five uh, v squared plus six five v plus one. If you came in late, um, I told your classmates that if you see a number after a variable, it's an exponent. Okay, because I couldn't use exponent in Schoology, so I had to improvise. All right, you guys are left with six questions. Okay, so if you don't have any makeup work. Why, yeah, I want you to continue working on this. Okay, now for those who have makeup break and have questions for me, this is the best time to, yeah, to do it. So do you guys have any questions? Bye, Ava. So just work on this independently, honey. Yeah, and finish it today, okay? All right. If you have questions, please feel free to ask them so I can help you out. Um, Giovanni, I want to show you something. What about the Delta Math? Um, yeah, the Delta Math, if you guys haven't done that, I recorded two today. So if you haven't done it, please make sure that you find time to do that. And um, I even used one of them as extra credit. So there were there were two seven point six in delta math. So if you're if you see something like fourteen over ten, so that's because I use one as extra credit. Giovanni, I want to show you something. Um, okay, but I need to hide the grades. Bye, Juliet, because the grades are showing, and I don't want to expose anybody. Okay, I was looking at it earlier. Bye, Justin. Bye, Enrique. Um, so you had some questions correct, actually, Giovanni. But maybe when you were typing, you were not very careful. Let me show you this. So... 
Yeah, see, I was looking at your answers for the pizza correction. Let's say, for example, like um, this one would have been correct, but you're putting the X in the middle. So you just put them side by side like this. You understand? And this one, too. X plus 11, you don't put the X in the middle. You're going to put parentheses. Do you get me, Giovanni? So you got them already. But it's just the way of writing. Because the schoology is not like Delta Math. The schoology is kind of, you know, more structured. It has to be, yeah. Yeah, so you got them. You see that one? Um, What else? Um, okay. And for 11, I don't know where you got the H from. But you have to use the same letters that were used in the, you had it figured out. Okay, that's cool. Yes, and you have another attempt, or what, you you know what, I can, just so you don't have to, like, write them all over again, I'm going to unsubmit this for you, so it will also save you some time. Okay, so you can just resume it. You get it? Okay. All right, honey. Anybody else with questions? Anybody else with questions? We have about five more minutes. If you have no more questions, just make sure you do the Schoology work today. And if there's anything I can help you with, you may ask me now. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Giovanni. Any more questions? Okay, if you have no more questions, then I will see you all on Wednesday. You guys have a great day and be safe, okay? Bye.